Terrible, terrible, terrible. That was so terrible. That was that was horrendous by me. But whatever, it's still a win. Play E3. That was horrendous. It's still a win. Well, not a good one at that. Not a good win at that. Um, okay, bishop g4. Let's play h3, bishop f3, queen f3. They play this bishop h5. Um, let's play knight d2. Knight c3, knight d2. It's all kind of the same same shebang. But g4, knight h4, I guess. Oh, maybe I g5 and cd5 there with bishop b5. Whatever. Okay, e5. We can play g5 here, I guess. Yeah, let's just go g5 to hit the knight. Knight e4 will obviously take. Now I can take on d5. I can take on e5. I can also take on e4. I think we want to take on d5 to activate the bishop on the diagonal. Bishop is good on this diagonal, but I, I feel like there's got to be some idea here with bishop b5. Like maybe even just take. Why not? Back from Paris. Yes, I'm back from Paris. How was the experience? I've been to Paris too many times at this point, so it was nice being in Paris, but it didn't really, you know, it didn't like move the needle or anything, shall we say. I missed bishop b4, that's a problem. Um can play f4, but that looks like I'm I'm asking for it. Really asking for it. So then it goes queen b6. <clears throat> I'll just play bishop g2 here. If queen g5, I think I just take, or even play queen g4. Now nah, this is ah, I misplayed this very badly. Um Right now, I need to find some way to bail out. Maybe go king f1, I guess, and just take. Pretty ugly. Very, very ugly position. I've, I've misplayed this quite badly. Okay, so he takes this way, which I thought was slightly incorrect. Um, I thought I could... Take and go queen a4, maybe? Because the problem for black here is that, like, if he moves the bishop, I win the pawn. If I win the pawn, but see, again, he's misplayed this, because once I win the pawn with queen c2 and queen e4, we're going to end up in an endgame, so my king being on f1 is completely fine. Do I know about the Russian Revolution? I mean, of course I do know about the Russian Revolution and the Bolsheviks. Um, let's play bishop d2. Now, the point here is that, again, my king isn't great on f1, but it's an endgame. No queens, king goes to e2. Um, I can also play rook c1, but let's just stick with bishop c2. You can play bishop c3 or rook c1. I'll just go king e2, why not? Bishop f6, just rook b1 looks fine. If knight b3, I think I can take. So bishop d3, knight b3 was a mistake because now I put pressure on this weak pawn on b5. He takes. Just take. Okay, rook h5 is a good move. I actually missed that. Um. I guess I'll just play b3, try to break the structure here a little bit. This is probably just a draw, though. But a draw is better than a loss, considering that I should have lost this game out of the opening. Or is he trying to get all fancy schmancy? Did I just blunder somehow? And I've got no time either, so this could be a big pro Oh, but I go king e2 and bishop e4, maybe? Oh, no, it doesn't work. Ah, shoot, I misplayed this. Let's go king f3. He has to take with a pawn, and I play like rook d1. Okay. I think this bishop d5 is fine. b2, I just take. It's going to be down a pawn, but it's. Um... I can also play. Let's just play rook b1, try to force an end game. And just a4 next move, and this should be a draw with correct play. Now, I am down on the clock this game, so... Yeah, let's go king g3. Play h4, force... Go rook a8... Oh, did I just somehow blunder this? I might have just blundered this. 
Yeah, I just blundered. Yeah, I just blundered. Um, unless there's some trick here. I've, I also have just no time. So, I mean, I'm just, yeah, I've got no time. <sighs> just have no time. Just a little, little bit too slow on the board, and unfortunately, it's going to cost me this game. Oh, I just got this one, yeah. Yeah, okay, I mean, obviously, yeah, I was just too slow that game. I never should have lost that game, but I, I was just too slow. Way too slow that game, especially. Let's play C5, Knight C6. Um, way too slow, way too slow. Um, let's just take the pawn and go knight, knight f6. If bishop b2, just knight c6 should be fine. Takes, I just take back with the ear g pawn. Let's go g6, bishop g7. Just castle. Have some coffee. Are you saying that to me, Chess Bay, or are you saying that in general? I don't know who you're saying that to. Anyway, let's play bishop f5. Um, play e6 here. What time is it in Florida? It is 9.15 a.m. in the morning, so pretty early. He takes, I guess we'll take with a g-pawn. E, e takes is also fine. C4 is logical. I can play king h8, I guess. Or if, something like a5. Or even rook c8. I think I'll play... I don't know what I wanted. I also have knight e4 here as well, which is interesting. Yeah, let's just go 94 for some kind of end game, I guess. I don't know if this makes sense, but let's try it. Queen d5, queen c2 I just take, and I've got like knight d4 and rook d8. Also some like rook g8 maybe. I guess I'll pre-move f in case he takes. Why would you play king h8? Um, because it was a logical move, let's take. With knight d2, we'll play knight d4, I guess. Um, yeah, let's go knight d4. Play like queen b2, we'll play e5 and f6 and rook d8. Play rook d8. I'm trusting that I'm not missing something stupidly obvious here. It goes knight of three. I thought I had knight of three and queen of three or something. Okay, this is just a blunder by me, it looks like. Take, take. Gotta take, I go f6. Oh, whoa, oh, what is, wait, what is this? What is this? I thought he was supposed to take on e5 first. Okay. Play. Um, I guess just rook d4 should be fine. Oh, I hung a pawn on f5 too. That was completely unintended. I just forgot that I hung that pawn. So now my work is cut out for me again. I shouldn't lose this, but winning this is not going to be easy. Go king h6 and maybe rook g7. I think I'm mating him actually. So I just got rookie one mate. And if he checks on f8, I think king g6, queen e8, king g5, queen g8, king f5, king f4. This is very close to winning. It might not be winning on the spot. Okay, king six looks right. And king f5, queen c8. 
king f4 because there's no queen g4 check. And then his king is just completely mated with these pawns right around it. Oh my gosh, I just blundered. Oh, I just blundered h7. Whoops. Okay, whoops. That was terrible. Um, I might still be winning because... Oh no, I'm, I'm probably not winning. King b5 h... Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm just... Did I really just blunder that? Wow. Wow. Let's see. So he's gonna. Ah, uh, but now he goes. What, E4, maybe? Because now he still can't take and he's still made it here. Check, check. A five. I'm going to try to play this on. I mean, this is kind of suicidal, but I, I feel like trying. D5, check King... King B, takes, take. I think I can just take. Just check King B7. I'm going to check. Gonna be very hard to win this. Uh, I've just got to move. I'm just moving too slowly right now. Oh, yeah, Queen A7 mate. Jeez, what, what am I doing? Just, I'm just playing so slowly. What's wrong with me? I mean, I'm just playing so ridiculously slowly right now. It's crazy. I don't know why. I, yeah, I'm just way too slow at the moment. I mean, just I was I was completely fine, and I just made two very very stupid decisions. Way too slow. Um, way too slow. Just way too slow. Way too slow. Okay, we'll play like four more, and then I'm gonna call it a break. Then I'm gonna take a break because that was really really bad by me. Really really bad. Um, actually, let me see though one second. Of course, probably I also should not have tried to uh, figure out my webcam thing during the middle. Oops. Okay, maybe now it's better. I don't know. I actually tried to open that up. Let me see. Night P3. Take. We'll play A3 next move. I just, yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna beat him four in a row, get to ten wins, and then I'm gonna probably uh, go take a break, get some coffee, and do other stuff for a little bit. Um, just take and go ninety four. Takes, takes. This won't be the beginning of the eight-hour stream. It's just I got online and this guy wanted to play right right out of the right out of the gate. So if you know if, if three thousand wants to play right out of the gate, then um then I will obviously play. So let's castle. I'm obviously gonna trade. Maybe let's take now. Go bishop f three. Go bishop e four. Okay, we can obviously take knight c5 looks very good just hit the bishop hit the pawn let's just let's just uh when you when i read the chat is my best profile okay when i look over that way okay let's just toast this guy like four games get back to 3150 and then um and then i'll uh and then, then i'll take a break and come back in like an hour or two because i also have to do some laundry as well okay he plays queen e7 that just looks kind of silly play rook c1 B8, the rookie one, more pressure, pressure everywhere. The queen d6, now I just take, bishop c6, game over. Uh, just win, win a bunch of material. Mr. Dodgy Chess says, wait, what, laundry? You don't have people for that? 
Good dude. Shock, come on. Give me a break. Play, Play queen g5. Queen d8 threats, queen c5 threats, just like h3 even. Play queen c5 first. I mean, everything wins here. Let's just play h3. Oh, I gave him e2. That was kind of stupid of me, because now, eh, still probably winning, but I, there's no need to give him this this uh, structure. Okay, let's just play. Got to be Actually, I do have to be careful now in terms of how I play this. Let's go queen c5 again. Make a check. Queen a5, hit the bishop. Queen d8 next move. Um, or d4. Play d4. d5 is no good. Let's play queen c5. We'll get the bishop to d5, but I am up a pawn here, so um, I should be winning here. Even even if he gets this, this uh, fortress, I still have an extra pawn. I just run my king in. Um, play h4. Maybe h5, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, he's going to start repeating now. We'll keep building up the structure. Now, this looks wrong, so I think... I, or no, he still has king f7. Um, okay, let's just go back. Let's just get out of any trickery. Play f4. I always have queen c5. Always f5, g5 ideas, too. I think just f5 anyway. And king f4. Now, I'm going to start playing g5 at some point soon. Uh, this can't really be a fortress here for black. Make a check and go g5. After all, it was the famous Magnus who said, I don't believe in fortress. I think just king g6 is winning here. Okay, it's bishop e4 still, so we make a check. Play queen e5 now to hit the bishop. Queen b8 is a threat. D5 is a threat. There's no way that black can just hold everything here. D5, for example, looks reasonable, but let's just make a check. Let's play D6 and takes. Thank you to the Saint for the six month reset. Let's make a check. Play D5. Make a check and D6. And now he's just, now he's finished. Let's make a check. Make a check. So like king d4, I'm just gonna keep it chilling. King b6. I really don't want to play f6, so I'm just gonna rework my king all the way around here. Maybe queen b3. I feel like again I've somehow misplayed played this but it doesn't matter so he hangs the bishop so okay that's 131 let's play let's get back to playing e5 let's just play g6 oh i played d4 wasn't expecting that um okay, i guess we'll play d6 here and i have six and just castles go a6 i guess i'm gonna take and play b5 at some point he plays h4 now i think knight e5 and c5 and b5 is supposed to be completely fine for me Was that a win? I think it was a it, it was a win when I got the pawn to d6 at the start. Once I let him set up with bishop c6, I'm not sure that it's winning. Probably it's still winning, but I'm just not 100% sure. Okay. Um, what's the idea? So if I play b5, he takes, I take. Plays h5, but I can always take with the f pawn, which is important. Let's just play c5 maybe. If he takes, I just take with the f pawn gonna throw on a check i guess king g8 looks okay and he's got like knight d5 or something go b4 knight c4 allowed queen h6 so so now i'll play rook a7 um because when he checks i go king g8 if he takes i take with the rook as well i think king g8 should be right I think I just take. If rook d5, I think I just go queen f6. If knight d5, just bishop e6 looks fine. And this rook is really nice here. I can also swing it to f7 to put pressure on the knight on f4. 
Dobrý spisek. So he goes bishop e2, so I can obviously take. I can also play like rook f7. I can also play like queen a5 even. I don't know, is f4 really a threat or not? That's one question that I have to resolve. Um, so yeah, let's just take and go queen f6. Keep it really simple. Play for queen f4. Plays like rook d1. I can always just play rook d7, I think. Um, also, I've got like queen f4. Maybe I'm hanging this pawn, but... Oh, I just... Wait, but I still can block. Um, which rook do I want to block with? I guess I block with this rook. So now I'm threatening d5. If he takes, I just take back and I should be fine. Um, so, so he goes king. So I have d5 here or not? No, I don't think I do. I can always play king h8 and just hold. I can also just play. I don't actually understand if there's a threat. So I'm just going to play a5 here because I'm not sure if he has an actual threat. Like f4, I take. If he takes, I just take back. So he goes b3, so a4 would hang a pawn. So I don't want to do that. I can always play d5 or king h8 here again. I'm really not sure if he's actually threatening anything, so but I think I think I should just force him to take the take the rook. Just get the bishop off the board, play like rook f6. Queen d5, I can always trade. If I want to trade. Um yeah, let's just trade. And go rook e6. I'm gonna try to bring my king in, I guess. A3. Um I'll play like h5, h4 maybe. C3, so we just trade and bring my king in. I'm gonna go g5, obviously, and h4. Actually, no, you know what? I can even just play king e7, king d7, and I'm fine. Or does he have e5 or something stupid? Plundered e5, yeah, this is, of course, very poorly played by me. And of course, I put the pawn in h5, so he also has like rook g5 or something stupid, too. Um, okay, but that's a mistake. Take. And now it's a draw. Now it's just a draw. Well, I don't understand why he did this. Let's play rook b6. Yeah, I don't know why he went for any of this. King e7, king f6. I mean, white can play, but he's also down on the clock. And now he's just going to lose b3, so it's not even like... Let's take. I'm up on the clock. I want to flag him. I, this is not the time that I want to give him a draw, so... I mean, that was a terrible game anyway, but that was really, really bad. Play e4, knight c3. Bishop c4. 
Yeah, I hung my rook at least like twice there as well, which was really, really bad. I think I hung my rook on C1. I hung my rook on B1 too also. Go bishop B3. Play H3. B3. Okay, last three games, I think, and then I'm going to probably take a break. Um, just take with a pawn. I guess I should play G4 and takes. Just going to try to tag with G5. Um, let's just take. I don't know if this makes sense. Um, Let's we'll take and play e4. Just castles. I'm gonna play g5 next move, of course. King b1, b4, knight e2 is fine. Definitely, I want to play g5 at some point soon. Probably knight g3, knight f5 is another idea here. Okay, he's begging me to play g5, but I don't trust it yet, so we're gonna keep building. So here h5 I just take with the knight. Okay, now we obviously have to go g5. If b3, I think I just trade and go a3. So I think this should be okay. Okay, so he takes on a2, so he's trying to get funny with some a3, but I mean it's hard for me to believe that this works. If I take a b2. Got some knight d4 tricks. Maybe it's not so simple, but I mean, it's hard for me. To, I really don't believe that this can possibly work for black. That much I'm sure of. Whether I play it correctly, we'll just have to see. Let's take. Can be one. He'll play a3. I'll take, I guess. Uh, that makes no sense at all because he just gives me an extra tempo on the queen. He should have just take. He should have just taken and gone a3 and said, you know what? Who cares if I lose? I lose because now, I think even just. Queen c3 is just good enough. And now I can't go queen b5, so I just take, and then I've got knight e7 check to win the queen. I guess he can take and... Oh, wait. Actually, wait. No, I can't take with the king. I thought I could take with the king. Okay, so he has some weirdness here with a3. I think b3 is just winning, though. Yeah, just b3, a2, king a1. It's just game over. These knights are much too strong. I have two knights. I cover all the key squares as well. I think knight d2 and knight c4 should just be winning. He can't even go g6 yet. Okay, just resigns. All right, next game. Oh, let's play c6 again. It worked really, really well last time. So let's... Okay, so he takes... I don't really feel like playing an exchange with Panov, so let's just take and make a check. He goes bishop d3. Let's play bishop b4 here. It's just knight of six. Oh my gosh, I just blundered. Okay, he missed it, luckily. So I'm gonna play knight d7. Bishop f5, queen f5, queen b3, bishop c3, queen b7, which is winning the game on the spot. Um, let's just take the knight d7, why not? Bishop c3 was also completely fine. Okay, so he plays d5, so he's trying to blast the center, so we'll take. I'm presuming. I oh, know if he takes, I've got knight e5. Actually, he takes either square, I play knight e5, and I'm just winning. I think. Maybe not. Let's see, knight e5. Knight e5, knight e5, bishop e5. Ah, no, because on knight e5 takes, bishop e5, he has bishop f6 takes, and queen d7 with queen f7 mate. So let's just take. Takes. Um, I think I'll castle long here. I don't know if it's right, but it looks interesting. Bad pawns. This is rookie eight. Castle short was, of course, completely fine too, but I feel like playing something a little bit weirder. Okay, let's just play. I guess rook d8 makes sense. He's got ugly, 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 ugly pawns here. Okay, we're just going to go e5, e4, just all aboard. Queen b2, I think just queen c7. He takes. Now, I think I should take with the knight, probably and go rookie seven and rookie eight, or rookie d8, but just 
If I take with a pawn, I end up with two pawns. You got some knight h4, f5, so the structure isn't isn't ideal. Okay, e4 is begging to be played, so I'll just play it. Probably he'll go knight b3, but then I think I've got queen c3, knight c5, or b7, which looks good. He just chucks a pawn here, but it doesn't really do a whole lot, because now knight c4, there's no pawn on c5 to support any, any uh, queenside attacking ideas here. Okay, so he gambits a second pawn, but I'm not going to be... I'm not going to be Mr. Greedy here and grab. So let's play queen e5. Although he's got knight e4 and some knight c6 weirdness again. Hmm. Still a little bit tricky to play. But I think rook e7 should hold. Because takes, I can just take queen a6, go king d7, rook d1, king e6. And king f5, if rook b7, just king e8, king f7 the other way. And I should just be winning, I think. King e6, if queen c4, just king f5. And I just I tuck my king on g6, and with the knight by my king, it's just very smooth. Oh, shoot, did the camera go bad again? Ah. Okay, hopefully it's better. Um, the cam is sleepy. Okay, let's just go king g6. Now I just play rook d8, try to exchange some pieces, because then if I, the less rooks and queens on the board, the easier it is to win this. Play rook d7, rook d1. Let's grab a pawn. Just h6, king h7, no rook g5, no h5. Make a check. And knight g4 is mate, by the way. And knight f3 again. Uh, let's go d4 again. Um, let's play knight c3 this time, something different. I think this time I'll play knight c4, if h5, just g5. Now let's play bishop g2. Bishop d2. Test Bay having coffee problems in the morning. I have 99 problems, but a French press coffee maker is not one of them. Um, let's just play, I guess let's just play a3 and take. And also play e4 here. Let's go e4, yeah. Music so bad, just so bad. The music is so bad. I can't stand it. The music is so bad, so bad, just so bad. Fine. You want something else? Okay. If you don't like that, here, here you go. Just go f4, f5, and kill him. Place f5, I can take, I can also, I think I'll take here, because if bishop f5, I have queen h5. If e f5, at some point, I assume I'm going d5. Maybe not immediately, but in like the next, whoa. Wow, okay, we will grab. Because now he's gotta be careful, like g6 is a big threat now too, with mating ideas on h7. Okay, we'll just castle here. Not not afraid because I can always take G6 is a huge threat, of course. And now he plays G6 himself. But the problem with playing G6 is first of all, I can maybe play Queen H6. Yeah, let's be a let's be a barbarian and go Queen H6. The problem here for Black is I don't really see how he Okay, plays Queen E8, so I can play H5 here, or rookie one. Oh wait, no, I've even got D actually wait, I've just got D5 in checkmate. I I mean this this must be winning. Um just take. Bishop c5, I can just take. I mean, I've, I've even got bishop d5 here as well to, to add more injury to insult. But let's just play rookie one, keep it really chill. And now I just grab this pawn. I mean, the whole house is just collapsing here for black. This is the whole house collapsing here for black. 
Hey, let's go again. Um, let's play C6 again. It worked well last game. Am I playing subs later today? I'm not sure what I'm doing exactly, but we'll figure it out. We'll, we shall figure it out. Okay, let's just play Bishop G4. Let's play E6 and Knight C6. I'll just go Queen A5, Knight D7. Maybe Bishop D6 actually. Just cut off this Bishop F4 idea. To H3, just Bishop H5. Thank you so much to Chespe for giving a sub to uh, Labscore. Now he blunders a pawn, but it's a fake, it's a faux blunder because if I take, he gets Queen B3 and Bishop B2 and traps my Queen. We'll just drop the Queen back to C7. If he cards taking requests, I'm not sure about the orange wall. Maybe painted a sh shade lighter. Ha ha ha! Very very funny. Ha ha ha! Very funny. Um, okay, we got a castle. We got to play e5 at some point. Bishop f4 actually looks quite reasonable. So let's play bishop f4 here. Maybe two let's take. And okay, let's just castle. I guess why not? Go trade. I think I'll play a5 here. Try to open up the queen side. Plays b5, which I thought was a little bit strange. I don't want to take. I really don't want him taking. We trade off what... I don't even know what's going on, so I'll just take. He'll pro okay, takes with a pawn. But the problem with this, I thought, was that I can always take and go like queen c5, knight b6. Even knight c5 right away looks quite attractive here. Okay, I also have queen e5, rook b7, queen c3. Actually, if I take, take queen e5, that's just a free pawn? Yeah, that's just a free pawn. Thank you so much, Quindarko51, for a seven month reset. Thank you so much. Woof, woof, woof. Knight b5, I take, and he can't take the rook because he hangs the queen. If he takes the queen, I just take back my knight. And now you see I'm just up a clean pawn. Four, five, six. He's gonna have to go for some kind of end game. Which maybe he can salvage, but this isn't gonna be fun. Just I guess I'll play. I'll play B6 here. Okay, I think I can play rook B8 maybe. Oh, but I gave him rook B5, rook B5, rook B8. What's going on here? I think rook d8 should be fine. Takes, takes, c5 maybe or something. This might still be a draw, but we'll see. It goes rook b1. Play rook d8. Rook c8, c5. Takes, rook c5 is a problem. Let's go rook d8. And now I think I can play, well, first I've got rook d1, but rook c6 should be enough. I'm still up a pawn here, which is important to remember. The cam is blurry. Yeah, what what is it with the cam? The cam is not being kind to me today. Rook F8. Maybe, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Um, okay, rook b5, we'll go rook a4, of course. And I guess now let's play, I guess I'll play g6. Okay, rook b7, logical. Okay, let's go king g7. Oh, but now I just blundered this. Stupid, okay. Let's, oh my gosh, I just blundered, what am I doing? I've just got to move quicker, moving way too slowly. Because now he's probably going to try to flag me if I'm not careful. Two, three. Okay, let's just chuck the pawn. I don't care. Oh, shoot. Uh, 
Man, I've made a total mess out of this. I don't even know what I'm doing. Thursday 7. I'm way down on the clock, too, which really does not help matters. Am I lagging? Am I lagging there or something? Because I felt like I was down five seconds and somehow I just ran way out of time.